Thank you, Dean Wiltzias. Hello, everyone. It has been a true honor to be part of this outstanding class of 2019. I wanted to take this moment for all of us to thank everyone that's helped us to get to this journey. Faculty, staff, advisors, mentors, friends, and family. Through the thick and thin, we could turn to these people whenever we needed help, especially after taking an exam, hoping for a passing grade, because I know I did. I transferred to UCSB from Santa Barbara City College. <laughs> I had pulled some all-nighters at SBCC, but never thought I'd have to pull so many when I got here at UCSB. <laughs> we all know what it means to start homework early, then still need to stay up all night just to finish the assignment. This is after attending the professors and TA's office hours just because of how difficult the assignment was. Those are the nights my classmates and I, and I forgot how much caffeine and your bromates we drank. <laughs> I come from a small town called Lompoc. My family and I did not have a lot growing up, and I remember that I was not going to be able to go to college. I was going to stay in Lompoc and help my family financially by getting a job right after high school. Being the first child in my family to get a high school degree seemed like a big enough accomplishment already. One day, though, my father told me something that he wishes he could do to this day, which is read. Without intending to, my father motivated me to continue school and take advantage of the educational opportunity my parents did not have. That is why I worked while going to college, like many of us here today. As soon as I got to UCSB, I knew I wanted to go to graduate school. I was not exer exactly sure what it meant to go to graduate school, but I know I wanted to be there. The first step, I believe, was to prove myself that I was capable of doing research. I did this by earning an A in my first upper division course in Peace Out 120A. Yeah. <laughs> I, was also admitted, <laughs> I was also admitted to the UCSB McNair Scholars Program, a, re <laughs> a research program specifically designed to prepare students for graduate school. When I shared my accomplishments in my first quarter to an advisor with many connections uh, to faculty doing research and statistics, that person told me I was going to be useless in research. I had experience programming in four different computer programming languages, I had two degrees from SBCC, and had been accepted to an undergraduate research program at the time, but I was never asked what experience I had. Instead, I was told, you only have one class finished in the PSAT department. No one's going to take you in for research. But I did not let that comment affect me. I knew my passion. I knew I was going to go to graduate school. I had faith, and that's all I needed to keep me going. I persisted and defied that advisor and made sure that I would participate in research. In fact, by my second quarter here, I was part of a 12-member research group in the PSAT department with Dr. Michael Nava. Initially, those other 11 people intimidated me. They all had finished many PSAT courses, had more coding experience. The imposter syndrome hit me hard that quarter, and I told myself I might be in over my head. Maybe that advisor was right. Maybe it was going to be useless in research. Two of the wisest people in my life, my mother and father, constantly warned me against ever letting anyone tell me what I can and cannot do. I listened to my parents, and that quarter I found myself not only excelling in research, but leading the research group. I coordinated meetings outside of, of our professor's, uh, professor's research meetings, and I assumed responsibility for determining how to best approach the data set. This experience helped me understand that I'm capable of conducting research, and more importantly, that I can succeed in graduate school. After my first year, I began tutoring students individually and in groups and giving midterm and final exam reviews that would fill a lecture hall. I was participating in research, working as a CLES tutor, and earning my degree, all while attending family responsibilities. This is quite an accomplishment for a first-generation college student and proud Mexican-American. <laughs> now, I can happily say that I'm headed to the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, doctoral program in statistics with full funding. Oh.
All of these experiences make me feel like a true UCSB gaucho. The lesson my mother and father taught me, I hope we together as gauchos can use. No matter how bumpy the road is or how difficult it becomes, we still prevail to do what we dream of. No gaucho I have ever met in my life has stopped chasing their dreams, and I plan on keeping that tradition going. To quote Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., faith is taking the first step, even when you don't see the whole staircase. Let's remember this as we move forward. Thank you.